Pandera is a Python library to validate your Pandas data frame. If you are new to Pandera, I recommend watching this short video first to get a basic understanding of Pandera. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to use Pandera to validate the input and output of your Python function. It is straightforward to use Pandera to validate your Pandas data frame. However, how do you actually use it to check the input and output of your Python function? To see how we can solve this problem, let's start with a simple example. Here we have the function get total price, which returns the sum of the values in the price column. Now this function have a certain input value. How do we check if the input value match what we expected? One straightforward way is to put a schema object in here. And then we can run validated equals schema dot validate rules. If the data frame pass all the checks, then we will get pandas data frame back and we will just use it to get the sum of the price. This works but notes that we have so much more code here that is not related to get total price. Plus, if we want to reuse this schema for another function, then it will be very repetitive. Is there a better way to check the input? That is when Pandera's check input comes in handy. Start with importing check input and instead of putting the schema inside the function, we're going to put it outside of the function and here we're going to add the decorator check input and here we can specify the schema which is this one and we can remove of the validating code so now when we run get total price pandera will automatically check the input data fruits against the schema that we specified here we can see that now our code is much cleaner and we can reuse the schema for all the functions by simply adding the decorator check input. The fact that we check the input before the function runs also allows us to avoid unnecessary computation. It is also important to check the output if it is as we expected. You can check the output using the decorator check output. If you want to check multiple input and output at the same time, then you can use check IO. Check IO allows you to specify the schema for each of your input. Here I use in schema for both my input fruits nearby and fruits far away while using out schema for the output. 